our channel where we play video games from 20 to 30 years ago. Today we're playing a little Majora's Mask. <laughs> Haven't played this game in probably 20 years since I first got it on the N64. And that's the version we're going to be playing today. It's uh, some very nostalgic music as we get our first look around the clock town here. This was kind of a, a border Zelda entry. Um, we had just gotten Ocarina of Time. This comes out, we're expecting more of the same, and we get this three day cycle that doesn't take place in Hyrule. Very dark themes, one of the darker Zelda games. But I've often said, whenever we get a second Zelda on a system, it's usually not quite what we're expecting. You know, we got the first one on the NES, and the second one was a side-scroller. It was a little bit more dark in theme. Then we got Ocarina of Time. This was the second one on the system. It was a little darker. So I'm almost wondering if when we get to the Wild 2, if that's going to be a little bit darker as well. Alright, I, I really hope I can remember how to do this. Again, haven't really revisited this game since I beat it the first time. You ever have a game where you play it, you enjoy it, and you say, you know what, I'll give it some time and I'll play it again, and then you just never get around to it? Oh, here's our antagonist, the Skull Kid. He is, uh, going to attempt to crush everything with this move. channel will be G's Nuts. In the land of Hyrule, there echoed a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family. A boy after battling evil and safe Hyrule crept away from the land, the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked, embarked on a journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways with when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny. Basically, we're looking for Navi. Look at Termina here. For once, all the fog is not due to the N64's draw distance. Now, of course, this isn't Navi, this would be Tattle and Tail, the sidekicks of uh, the Skull Kid. we faced in Ocarina of Time, but suddenly supported by a look of our own map. It's a color of the map.
Alright, so we're getting pocketed for our ocarina. Of course, our entire inventory from Ocarina of Time is just going to magically disappear. They're not really going to explain what happened to our uh, Megaton Hammer or Shot or any of the other equipment we had. <laughs> You know, if we just stop, instead of dragging us through the ground, imagine that's got to hurt like hell. Have a lot of grass stains out there in your green tunic. games that are just save the princess from Ganon. Like that, we've become a Jim Henson creation. and now suddenly they're going to ask for our help. 
I don't know how Link would manage to trust this fairy at this point, and why he wouldn't just leave it locked in that room. So Tattle's gonna be our fairy for the game. I think they might have taken some feedback about Navi, because definitely interrupt you and yells at you a lot less. Yeah. Alright, so this will be our first walking section. There's not really much challenge to this, it's just kind of introducing us to the mechanics. I guess this would all kind of be like open cutscene slash tutorial. Alright, we got a Deku nut. Won't be much use to us for a while. Oh, this shrub. Remember three fan theories people thought that uh the mask you're wearing was originally this Deku shrub that's now just like wilted and dead. It's kind of weird. It's just kind of here to teach you how to use the uh, Z targeting. But I mean, they could have used anything to have us practice Z targeting. Did they really have to pick like some dead wilted plant? Yeah. It's gloomy like it could start crying. That thing ain't crying, that thing's dead. Alright, one trip at home just to give it some uh temple. Can't remember if there's anything hidden down these hallways. I guess just have to check out and where I was. Like I said, I haven't played this in such a long time. Even then, I'm sure I missed things on my original place just because we didn't have things like YouTube to check out which way to go and what to do back then. <laughs> happy mask shop owner. Look at the mask on this guy. Nothing about this is happy. This is the scariest hell mask shop owner. Alright, so if we bring him in the ocarina, he's going to turn us back to a uh, human form of Link. <laughs> Change. He wants us to bring back the mask that Skull Kids pulled. Of 
doors back up on out. Somewhere in three days. Everyone <laughs> seems to think we've been clock town in three days, so it will cause to not be affected by the moon crashing into the planet. Alright, so now begins our list of things to get done before the moon hits here. So, I know we need to restore the Great Fairy to get magic. We need to catch all the bomber kids to get into the observatory. And then make a trade with the Deku Grub so we can fly up to the clock tower. We have three days to accomplish all of this. Bumbling my way through it, so don't mind me, I don't even remember my way around the clock Just put the in.